old trail. I know, the, that was awesome. The, the Cross Creek Trail. Yeah, and it kind of went downtown yeah. Woodstock. Not sure what next is. Is next the axe? Maybe, the biggest axe. Biggest axe in the whole world. And it's a boondocking spot too, yeah, maybe. Maybe, so we'll check that out. If it's better than the one we were at last night, we'll stay there yeah, tonight. If it's, it's really not, close. we'll go back to east of Woodstock. Do we want to try to find a bank or not? I think we can if there's one down here. So we didn't have any Canadian cash, so we're gonna to go to an ATM now on our first day here and see if we can withdraw a little bit of cash just in case we need it. Just got a little bit of Canadian money, so. Let's really see it. Oh, it's pretty. All kinds of pretty stuff, yeah. Did you get any loonies and toonies? I did not get loonies and toonies. You don't need as much as you used to. Everybody pays for credit cards and everybody accepts credit cards most of the places. Amanda was so nice here, the bartender. We've decided that since they're Harvest Host and we have a Harvest Host membership, we're just gonna stay beside the river in site number one. That'll be cool. you think harvest host I thought, oh cool. the harvest host was awesome yeah the meal was great the big axe brewery yeah they have spots for i think maybe five or six uh, vans or rvs there and they were almost full not completely and it was a really quiet stay and it was really good to meet our neighbors and spend some time talking yeah, to them. And, right on the St. John's River. Beautiful. And then this morning we drove over to the world's biggest axe, which is really to um, say thank you to all the logging and the loggers and the, the trees. Foresters. Foresters yeah. that goes on. It goes on here Forestry. in this area because if you can look around, you're surrounded by trees and that natural resource is a really big vital part of this area. And you know, the Forest Service does play a big part of that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and then the next thing we did, it was time, it's been three days, it was time to uh, empty the uh, cassette toilet, uh, cassette Cousin Eddie as we call it. I think we're just getting used to all of our routines it's too. It's it kind of... Getting a, back into it. Get back into it. It takes a few days. Our new friends Pat and Charlie yesterday told us about two things that they think we should go visit. What what were they? The covered the longest covered bridge and then the covered bridge potato chips and I love potato yeah. chips. So. travel and you go to different places like this that's the kind of thing you get to see the world's longest covered bridge and we just took the echo through it it was tight but we made it so there's also a walking path that you can walk along the bridge so i'm going to watch the other side and see if i can get owen as he comes out of the bridge
about the potato chip factory. The fresh ones were awesome. I don't know how these are going to be. We got sea salt and vinegar. That's yours. And then smoking sweet barbecue. Which was mine. Two of our favorites. It's a neat thing to do if you're in the area. So I know what someone's going to ask already. People ask all the time, but don't you and Lynn feel afraid to go off like this and find the spot i think the truth is we feel more afraid when we're in a big city than we do when we're out here in the middle of nowhere like this and there's you're just such a sitting target when you're at a parking lot like that when it's closed and you're in the middle of a big city but out here no you very rarely see anybody at all Maybe we don't feel scared at all. Okay, here we go. I think that's a low branch. Yeah, we have to go slow. Scratching some stuff up. <laughs> This is your kind of place anyway. This is it right here. Look at this. Yep. Looks yeah. like no one's here. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Nobody. Set it up so that we're looking out that direction. Better than a brewery in the middle of town and just yeah. a parking spot? Yeah. I think so too. Fella could stay here for. Could definitely get a our kayaks out. Alrighty. All right. Let's get set up, sweetheart. All right. Don't get too wet. decided that uh, this water just looks way too peaceful and beautiful out here to not get the oros out so we didn't know if we should bring them or not it's uh it's really packed in there pretty tightly with everything that we brought but it's really really hard to beat how peaceful it is out here when you find a place like this and i think because of that we're probably already glad that we brought them Daydreams falling like i 
<laughs> this is an awesome little boondocking spot. It was there. really awesome. Nice and quiet last night. Yeah. Got to go on a paddle. That was uh -huh. awesome and fun. Yeah. And now we get to go up a pretty steep type little entrance road to get down here. Yeah. Hopefully uh, we won't get too many scratches or get stuck. Mm. Here we go. Off on another part of the trip. We just said we don't want to say where we're going because it seems like we never get there. It seems like when we say it, we don't get there. Yeah, for sure. Let's not dilly dally this morning. Let's get going. That's a great place to park. That's awesome. How'd I do? You did great. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Quaint little town of St. Andrews. Can't wait to there's, go down there's there. There's a farmer's market going on. Yeah. We're going to park here and just go explore. Pendleberry Lighthouse here in St. Andrews. It is absolutely gorgeous. The boats are out in the water. There's an awesome little downtown area that we can't wait to explore, but this lighthouse is really, really cool. I'm waiting on mom to see if Maggie gets to go to the patio or not. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so it's two o'clock. I know. Our kind of place. <laughs> it is. But I think now, since it's two o'clock, we're going to uh, <laughs> do like Juanita and David and we're going to try to find us a place to stay. I think yeah. we're going to go to two different places. It's, pretty. Oh, pretty. it's a beautiful view. Right, so there's option one. It looks really pretty and you can see forever up here, can't you? It's not very level here. That's one of the bad things. Yeah. This, this is and it's on concrete. Level. We'll be on concrete. And it would be hotter. So I think we're going to ride to the road that goes over to Minister Island. Here's the parking lot where we could just park for the night. All these cars will probably disappear. We'd have it to ourselves. Okay, we made it here. We have two decisions to make. First one is, do you feel okay driving across the sandbar to the other side onto the island? Yeah, I think so. Wow, okay, cool. Second one is, of the two, which one do you think would be better? one of the neatest things we've done, I believe. Home sweet home, Maggie.
good morning. We slept really well here last night. Cool temperatures, just one window open. These guys were here when we got here. Another uh, schoolie joined us in the middle of the night, and I bet they had a hard time getting level. Here's how we level. We just pulled up on one side, but we're off this morning. Seeing what we can see. Hope he goes slow. Yep. 